I know what works for me. I know what my red foods are. I know what my yellow foods are. And I know what my green foods are. I know what I can eat to feel good. And I know what I can cannot tolerate because of what I am healing, have healed, that kind of thing. So spices are yellow. I found that out. Um, I got a little carried away and um, had like taco seasoning. It's Redmond's taco seasoning, which is fantastic. And then I had it three days two, you know, in a week, I had it like three times. And I had a little bit of trouble. I had like a really, I had a lot of trouble with flushing, you know, getting flushed in a hot flash. And then my face feeling kind of puffy, red and tight. Now I've got like a couple dry patches. So I'm still working through, you know, that. Does that mean I I think I'll be able to eat spices again soon. I probably need to be slower about it. You know, got so so excited thinking, you know, I didn't have a reaction like right after I ate it. Well, yeah, it takes my body about 24 hours (laughs) to react. And I eat the same things every day. You know, I eat just the exact same, exact same things every day. So I know it was the spices. But I was also thinking about because right now we are going through a stressful time, which life is full of stress. And it's not going to resolve like overnight. It's not, you know, something that's just going to get easier very quickly. And that's okay. Life is full of those events and you have to have the hard times to learn from and grow from so that, you know, it's a, it's a series of up and downs, right? I just had like a moment that I was like, I have to really stay dialed in to keep, which I'm always carnivore, but I need, I have gotten a little fast and loose with some of the things I have been eating. And when I say that I'm talking, I had some cheese, you know, I had things that I don't have a lot. And I know for me and to get, keep my anxiety stable and, you know, balanced low, lower than ratcheted up to here, I need to avoid dairy for a while until, you know, some of the stress of the situation has, you know, passed. That means for me, the best thing that works for me is a higher fat, most of the time, a higher fat carnivore diet, B, B, B and E, you know, I can have, you know, I can have leaner meats. I need to stay away from canned food, a lot of processed food, which like tuna is what I, you know, sometimes eat. I probably need to, you know, not avoid, completely avoid, but I probably, I think pork rinds are just um, scratchings, you know, whatever, but not a lot of processed meat. Probably need to dial back the bacon a little bit, which I, you know, I can tolerate now. In the beginning, I couldn't tolerate bacon very well, even bacon or pork. I don't really like just pork. I do like pork belly. That's not true. You know, I need to keep it a little bit, you know, higher fat most of the time. That doesn't mean every day. And I do track most of the time. I do track what I eat because the other thing is now that I have gotten so much better with my, you know, how I feel about food and my relationship with eating and I don't emotionally eat, you know, mindlessly eat or snack, I can have a tendency to think, oh, I'm not hungry, because I my hunger is different than it used to be. I don't have sugar crashes. So I don't get hangry. And I need to make sure I don't under eat. Because to me, eating is more just like a task that I need to accomplish. I always enjoy my food. I am not sad that I'm not eating you know, lots of different things. And it's just something that I need to do. And I enjoy what I'm, you know, I like what I'm eating most of the time. That's another thing, you know, not every single day that you live your life is going to be the best life or best day. Some days are just okay. And some days suck, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly and seasons and things like that. And that's what makes life beautiful. That was a movie. Remember that movie? Life is beautiful. So, um, yeah, I just had that thought. I thought, you know, I need to stay really dialed in with, you know, triple B and E, that kind of thing. I'm not doing line. It's not like I'm trying to do challenges. You know, I don't have that kind of thing, but I know that for my anxiety, especially during stressful times, I need to avoid dairy. 
it's more of a something that I have occasionally. I just really need to stay clean and on point and that'll be the best. And I'm not that, like I said, that doesn't make me sad. It's just something that I thought I had and I thought, you know, I better, you know, get that down, get that out of my head because that might help someone else. If you know you're going into a stressful time, take into consideration what your strengths are, what your red, yellow, green foods are, what works well for you. I drink coffee. I'm not going to dis, I'm not going to eliminate coffee. I'm not healing, you know, anything. I'm at a point in my healing. I've had coffee the entire time. I'm still a carnivore. You can call it what you want, but this is, you know, what I do. And I do like to add protein powder to it. And I do like to add a lot of butter to it. So yeah, that's where we are. <laughs>